Hi guys! Today is the day when I tackle the first two out of the four puzzles from last year's competition. I cannot tell you how excited I am about that, but on the other side I'm so nervous because normally when I speed puzzle I don't have any times to compare myself to. So when I have a really bad time I just say yeah the puzzle was really difficult and it didn't have a good fit. But with these puzzles there's literally like no excuses because obviously I'm gonna have plenty of times to compare myself to and not just any times they're actually really good competitive times like nothing I've ever come close to so I asked you guys to pick the first two puzzles I'm gonna be doing today and I have to say that I'm really pleased with the choice that you made because you basically picked one of the hardest puzzle and one of the easiest puzzles so I don't have to do two easy puzzles and two difficult puzzles together so I'm quite pleased with that so the first puzzle you picked is London Postcard this is probably my favorite puzzle out of the four because I just love the colors and I don't know, it's London as well, which obviously has a special place in my heart. But I just, I don't know, I really like everything about this puzzle. I think assembly-wise it should be quite simple because it doesn't seem like any of the color repeats itself throughout the puzzle. And there's also like different patterns across the puzzle as well, which is definitely going to help. So I'm really looking forward to doing this one. And then the second puzzle you picked is My Loyal Friends. So I have to say that this is, out of the four puzzles, the one that I prefer the least because of the picture. It just seems really difficult to me because it's basically just like black, red and green. So I don't like fur either, <laughs> so I don't know how that's gonna go. So I'm probably gonna start, no, I'm definitely gonna start with this puzzle today because I want to get the difficult one out of the way. I just hope that my mojo doesn't get completely ruined after doing this puzzle. But I want to talk about times now. So London Postcard basically has the first time was 32 minutes and 46 seconds, the second one was 36 minutes and 10 seconds and the third one was 36 minutes and 22 seconds. So my fastest time for a 500 piece puzzle so far was 1 hour and 5 minutes. So that would place me on a 44th place with this puzzle, which is not that bad if you think that there was like 80 people competing, so that will put me a bit of like in the middle <laughs> with my time. And then this one, the top three times were 37 minutes and 16 seconds, then 41 minutes and 47 seconds, and 44 minutes and 47 seconds. And with this one, my fastest time would place me on a 23rd place. I know that I cannot just take my fastest time and decide where that would place me, but I'm just saying, <laughs> like, you know, if I did my fastest puzzling, this is how I would place. I definitely need to practice more if I want to get to the top of the league, but I honestly, with everything that's been going on, completely forgot how close this competition is. Like, I cannot believe it's only a month away, so <laughs> that's why I'm doing this video today, because I was like, oh my god, panic! <laughs> definite panic mode but I think I should be fine because you know the times are at the end of the day quite irrelevant because I'm going there first of all to meet all of my girls because I cannot tell you how exciting this is gonna be like this is it feels surreal because it feels like I already know them we've been talking for over a year now and it feels like we really know each other but we've never actually met so this is like the best part about it. And then the second thing is obviously meeting other people who love puzzling as well. Like it's just the entire puzzle community. This is so exciting. And then obviously to just do the puzzling, you know, so the time is irrelevant when you look at it that way, because it's all for fun, really. It's not like I'm going there to win a prize or something. I know I'm not going to get that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not that good, but at the end of the day, I just want to do my best and if my best is over one hour, I don't really mind. As long as I qualify because I want to do all the rounds. <laughs> but now I think it's time to tackle the puzzles. Yeah, now I'm getting nervous. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna start with this one. And the first thing I have to figure out is how I'm gonna open the plastic wrap. Because I know there was like a lot of different techniques and I wasn't really thinking about other techniques before because I had long nails, so I would just like slice through the foil. But now that my nails are not long, I have to figure out how I'm gonna do that. So the one that Donna Louise told me is basically when you 
press it and you just turn it and I couldn't do that on my bed because I think when I pressed in it just sank down so much that it was like too soft and it didn't have a lot of pressure so I'm gonna try this one on the table now to see how it goes and the second technique is basically the one that I think Ravensburg have put on from one of the competitions and one girl said that you basically put it on the front and then I think just like drag it apart so yeah I'm gonna have to try them all I've got four puzzles <laughs> so yeah I think it's time to get some puzzling done wish me luck As happy I am to say that I basically just broke my record with one hour and two minutes to finish this puzzle. On the other hand, I'm quite devastated because, you know, I've been practicing with old Ravensburger puzzle, with Ejika, with Clementoni and stuff like that. So I honestly thought when I'm gonna get like a brand new Ravensburger puzzle that it's just gonna get me under one hour. But it doesn't really matter. The puzzle was <laughs> quite difficult as I expected, I suppose, I don't know. So if this one was one hour and two minutes, I hope that London Postcard is gonna get me under one hour, hopefully. I checked where my time put me if I attended the competition last year, so I would end up 20th, which I think is good. It would be great to end up in the top 10, but I don't think I'll get there <laughs> because one month is not enough to get me there. But anyway, I really enjoyed the puzzle. There was quite a lot of fun. Uh, and I didn't really know what to do, like how to tackle the puzzle. But I think just doing the full flip and then eliminating the colors with the least pieces got me here. So yeah, I brought my record. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't, well, I was hoping that that would happen, but I wasn't actually expecting it. At one point it felt like I was really fast, like when I was doing the bottom section. But then it got really complicated with the top section and I think I just took it a bit too easy, I guess. I don't know. We'll see how the next one goes. Oh, maybe I'm gonna break my record twice today. That would be quite cool. But yeah, I also have to say that I tried to open the wrap on the table and it didn't work for me. So then I did it on the front and that worked. But obviously I already wasted some time. So with the next one, I'm just gonna do like just the front thing so hopefully that's gonna save me some time i think it's time to do the second puzzle now and i'll meet you back here when i'm finished with it so wish me luck again i guess <laughs> I cannot believe I actually managed to finish a puzzle within one hour. So this one took me 50 minutes and 21 seconds, which is my fastest time right now. So yay! <laughs> anyway, at the competition this time would put me on an 18th place, which is similar to the last puzzle I did. So I know where I stand. I'll just wave goodbye to the top 10, but it doesn't really matter because I really enjoyed it. The puzzle was a little bit more difficult than I expected it to be because I thought that all of the dots and like all the different things are gonna help me so much when putting the puzzle together but there was just so much going on that it was just like a lot of confusion at one point 
but I still managed to do it and I did it quick so I'm really proud of myself. One thing I have to point out with Raven's Burger is they have so much puzzle dust so I had to clean the table whilst puzzling because it was really annoying. So I really hope I can get used to the puzzle dust because I don't want to waste time cleaning my table at the competition. This time I did both of the puzzles with full flip methods and that's why I decided when I do all four puzzles next time and I'm gonna redo the two, I'm gonna do full sort first. I know that the time should technically be quicker regardless because once you do a puzzle once, it always gets quicker. Well, you should get quicker the next time because you learn the puzzle and stuff. So I just wanna see for myself if it's gonna be any easier for me to have it sorted so just so I know because I've never done the same puzzle twice so far so I want to see if it's an actual difference like doing full flip or full sort so yeah that's definitely something I'm gonna do next time I do the puzzles so for today these are the only two puzzles I'm gonna do because it was really nerve-wracking so I've had enough stress for one day but I decided that I'm gonna tackle every 500 piece puzzle left in my collection before the competition. Yeah, I'm just gonna do them one by one and see how far we get. I don't think I'm gonna be quicker than I was with this puzzle because the other puzzles are old Ravensburger puzzles or like other brands and stuff. So obviously it's a different cut and quality is not as good either. But someone mentioned that some people practice with like 750 or 1k puzzles so then when they go to 500 pieces it's really quick for them so technically by doing other brands and like ancient Ravensburger puzzles it's sort of like the same thing I guess <laughs> so because this, these two were really enjoyable today I'm not gonna lie some of the puzzles that I've got in my collection and I've done so far yeah they were like a nightmare so I'm quite happy that I did those two today and I cannot wait to do all four like these four puzzles are gonna be the last thing I do before going to the competition and oh my god I cannot believe how close that is so we have a group chat for the competition as well and it's been going on every day now because there's just so much planning that has to be done and we decided we're gonna bring like 1000 piece puzzle each and put it in a ziplock bag so we don't have to bring boxes with us because that was gonna be so we need so much luggage to bring all the puzzles back from the competition so yeah we just decided to like ziplock them and bring them with us so we can practice because we're gonna get there i think a couple of days before the competition so yeah this is so exciting oh my god and i'm so excited i just keep talking about it so yeah i think i'm gonna stop for now and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>